Yes. We tried to explore the um, way of reaching out to marginalized groups in terms, in terms of restoring dignity. And in the foundation, there is this element that a group has been marginalized. But how can you approach that in a dignified way? Um, we had some discussion how, what type of premises do we fulfill? Like, am I worthy as a white uh, male to approach a marginalized groups? And I think what we came to is accepting that there has to be some acknowledgement of the root causes. Uh, but simu simultaneously, dignity is, an, is a process. It not, it's a something where uh, we have to act actively engage and acknowledge that once we engage, it, it's likely also going to change us and change our perspectives. And also acknowledging that this is the beauty of human mind. Uh, but that without entering into this process, we're not actually in restoration of dignity, that we have to do it. And there are some groups, because of the marginalization, their group has done a bigger responsibility to be actively engaging uh, in order to restore dignity. Bonnie, I think you will continue. So thank you. We try to take on the challenge of two topics that could easily um, have been uh, uh, fully explored on their own. One is reaching the marginalized, uh, as Auntie has described, uh, and the other is reaching the unreachables. And there's uh, several ways in which to understand what it means to be unreachable, among which it might be that you are marginalized and uh, are way out there and no one has reached out to you. And perhaps it's more a situation of being unreached rather than unreachable. And in some cases, it might actually be unreachable because, as Ante has described in his own work in Finland um, with indigenous groups, that uh, there's a lack of trust to those now trying to reach these people. Why should we trust? your motives in reaching out to us. Uh, so to combine these, uh, we decided to explore it as how to reach the unreachables about the marginalized. So what about those groups, groups of people, perhaps, for example, uh, politically in America um, or in uh, certain other areas for cultural reasons or religious reasons uh, or life experience reasons that people are really immune to a new expansive message of dignity and, 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 and even trying to have empathy for marginalized groups of people. How do we tackle that? Um, and so, Auntie, I think, described at least that it would have to require a process where uh, both those that are reaching out and those that are being reached grow, transform in the process. Um, Ted had described for us uh, this tricky notion of hierarchy, that perhaps uh, there might be stages of development that make sense in the natural world, such as a seed having the potential to develop into a tree. And that perhaps, um, and this became very controversial within our group in discussing this, we recognize this as, as a ripe area for exploration, that perhaps um, it's problematic to go to certain groups of people and say culturally perhaps you are not as developed as others who now see the need for expansion. And how would we tackle that? Perhaps we need a different um, metaphor, landscapes. People are at different points on the landscape. And now, as Evelyn describes in her work, um, uh, as others have, we have greater knowledge than humanity has ever had before. We're able to see that blue planet. We're able to see the oneness uh, that we're all in it together and with the interdependence that we now have to recognize that if we do not accept ourselves as one group um, that it's suicidal essentially. So uh, what is the possibility of reaching people to understand that it might be in their own self-interest to um, have an expansion of empathy and, and it also raised lots of questions for us even about the idea of empathy. Uh, can we actually tell somebody uh, that we know what it is to to have your experience if it's a, a white male telling perhaps a, a, a black transgendered uh, female or some such thing, um, some such person, excuse me. Um, 
And what we decided is, as human beings, even if we can't have the exact experience of another, that doesn't mean that we can't grasp to some degree, that there are degrees at which we can grasp, uh, as Barbara Ehrenreich has written, um, uh, uh, the emotions another is experiencing, or another's motives or intentions, um, even linguistically, that we do understand each other's meanings uh, to greater or lesser extent, and we work on that. Otherwise, none of us could be here today communicating Mm -hmm. And to that extent, we have to assume there's some fundamental uh, human experience that we can tap into, um, and um, that might be a way to reach the unreachables. Uh, we decided we would ask everyone in the group who did contribute uh, if there's something you'd like to refine or add. I'll just add that it's possible to enter this process when there is trust, but it's very hard to get that trust if you are not willing to, to feel some of the pain or have that pain also affect you that, that comes from, from those situations that you're trying to address. Um, and one more thing that uh, I'm so sorry, uh, Catherine raised the issue that uh, it's not a fixed situation. Human nature is not fixed, that it is very much developmental and situational. And so that therefore some people, perhaps even in her own personal life, who uh, may have been unreachable in the past, have now grown into being more reachable. And there is that potential. So uh, it, it's probably fruitful for us not to think of it as a fixed situation. Did you want to yeah, add something to that, Jillian? I'll just add that. Um, the definition of our terms and it was also challenging and um, was accompanied by process and um, us grasping and, and wrestling with uh, what empathy means. Um, kind of already touched on that, but what empathy means, what theory might be applied, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, the process was rich and meaningful um, and I would say fraught, but accompanied by a lot of question marks. Message to the world, thank you. Thank you.